Welcome back. Well, a nice winter chill in the air. High level cirrus clouds creating a little bit of a halo around the moon at sun at times, and we're going to have more of the same overnight tonight through tomorrow. More sunshine, though, tomorrow. Winter like temperatures for a couple of days, and then it gets wet later this week. So let's take a look at that upper level pattern, and we're going to be dealing with that old subtropical jet stream. Fair skies or not, you see this deep southwesterly trek of moisture from the Pacific up through the Gulf Coast. That's that's feeding the high clouds now. High pressure off to the east and the next low pressure system. Here's our weather maker come Thursday. That's going to be driving through the west and then interacting with the subtropical jet stream to bring us a good chance at a soaking. Better chance at a soaking than we've seen over the last several times and we've missed out on a lot of the rain. This time though it looks like uh, we are going to get at least a couple of inches of rain and once it gets gloomy and wet it's going to stay that way through the weekend. In the near term you can see much of the U.S is relatively quiet with the exception of lake effect snows. Here it is, cold air pouring over the relatively warmer lakes, producing some big snow bands uh, just south of Buffalo and just north of my old alma, alma mater, Oswego, going up to 12 to 18 inches of snow today, and it is still coming down. So it is winter up there and farther to the south, high pressure building in. There was some snow up here in the, uh, we'll say the mid-Mississippi River Valley, so that air has got a little bit of a bite to it and you felt it this morning with temperatures in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s. We see the same again tonight with high clouds across the area, but those clouds thin out for tomorrow. A few sprinkles showing up on some of the Doppler radars back to the west and those high clouds, but no real significant precipitation expected around here through the next 48 hours, but that changes come Thursday morning. Here's the graph model showing those clouds clearing out upper 30s, lower 40s tonight, tomorrow, but more than likely back into the low to mid 60s. Then tomorrow night, it's going to be a little bit colder. We get down into the low to mid 30s. We'll show you those numbers in just a bit. And then Wednesday afternoon, warming up just a little bit. And you can see the clouds beginning to come in ahead of our next weather system. They'll begin to take shape off to the west. And you can see the precip beginning to develop as we head into Thursday afternoon. That's going to be moving across the area Thursday afternoon and evening. Here's the Euro model showing at one batch of moisture, then another batch of moisture coming in sometime this weekend. We don't get out of the green until early next week and then drier air about eight days away. So once we get cloudy and gloomy, it's going to stay that way for a while. As for rainfall totals, here's the euro through uh, the Thursday event, one to two inches of rain, and then you add whatever we're going to see over the weekend. Then you start getting into the two to four inch range and even more, more than likely farther south and east. And the GFS was actually a little bit wetter than the euro on their earlier run today, the afternoon run backing off just a little bit, but a good two to three inch rainfall, certainly a possibility. And the Weather Prediction Center, the folks that make a living off of forecasting the rainfall totals, at least two to three, up to four to five. So big soaking. It's not all going to come at once, but uh, Thursday should be the wettest of the days, and then maybe again Saturday and or Sunday. Overnight tonight, mid to upper 30s, northern parishes will favor upper 30s, I-10 quarter. Should be out of the frost zone tonight with the high clouds, exception being maybe up towards central Louisiana for tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, lower 60s, the call across the board, low to mid 60s, Lafayette a little bit milder, and low to mid 60s across the coastal parishes. Now, tomorrow night, protect the plants and the pets for sure. Getting down to near freezing, Ville Platte, Opelousas on northward, and we'll be down into the mid 30s, I-10 quarter. The possibility of frost, even I-10 quarter, and some coastal areas, coastal parish areas as well. So just keep that in mind. It's not a done deal, but you may want to protect the tender vegetation next couple of nights, especially for tomorrow night. Nice and chilly night ahead. Plenty of high clouds out there, so that may temper our overnight lows and a full beaver moon out there, also known as the frost moon. And then for tomorrow, we'll be warming up into the low to mid 60s. 60 was the official high for today, so a few degrees milder and not as much wind, so it should be a lovely day. Plenty of sunshine into the afternoon hours after those high clouds clear on out. As we move into the 10 day forecast, again, we'll highlight the possibility of frost come Wednesday day morning. There's your rainfall for Thursday at 90%. And then somewhere in here, somebody's going to go up to 70 or 80%. Could be nighttime hours, Friday, Saturday into Sunday, several inches of rain possible. But the good news is the sun will come back out by the middle part of next week. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up right after the break.